Wow, what a big ocean. It's beautiful. Look at all this majesty. Here's some coral. It's Here's like an egg I found. A little egg. A little bit it's, egg. There's some life in this giant ocean. Uh, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's more than meets the eye. Oh, it, in fact, we were in the aquarium the whole time. We were. We were the fishes. We were the fishes this whole time. Hi, everyone. This is a uh, Subnautica, and we're streaming, and I'm Clayton. And I'm Jenna. Hi. So uh, this is not uh, technically we are unlisted. Let me make sure that wouldn't happen. Whoa. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if we're private. I wonder if I could put. So we'll actually have to kind of do a double start there, I guess. Okay. Don't know how that'll seem when mm. people watch this later. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's exciting, you know. I hope they forgive me. It's my first live stream. Uh, so. Yes. Also, Let's it's an entirely my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I was totally gonna take the hit. That's yeah. what teamwork means. Yeah. <laughs> the new people take all the blame. Yeah. All right. So I think um, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully, let's see. All right, okay. So okay. try that again. We're All actually right. live. Yeah. Hello. Hello For real again. this time. Hi, everybody. And now our our uh, our joke. See, we we did a whole bit here where we were trapped in a tiny aquarium when this was, game is actually in a giant ocean. But it was super funny. You have to go back and watch the the secret hidden intro to this video. <laughs> or just take our word that it was like <laughs> it was really clever. Hi and everyone. Smart. Hi. <laughs> this is Subnautica. We're Polygon, and I'm Clayton. I'm Jenna. Hello. This is my first time appearing actually on screen. You've heard my voice. Now you can see my face. Enjoy that. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, you don't have to be that <laughs> self-deprecating. Uh, uh, so I'm going to see real quick if I can build an aquarium inside this aquarium. Inside a double aquarium. Inside the ocean. I heard you like I don't aquariums. See <laughs> I don't see why not, except maybe space. So, it's a pretty big aquarium. So, yes. so Subnautica is not actually a game about meta-aquariums, <laughs> unless the ocean's an aquarium, if you really <gasps> think about it. But. Whoa. So Subnautica is, first of all, not a new game. It was an early access for, I think, four years, but is this week released for real um and we're playing it for that reason yeah ah. yes i was very excited when i saw this because i really like ocean creatures as evidenced by my shark shirt and my you can't you might not be able to see it. i've got tentacle tattoos uh, I really like sea creatures, so I was very excited about playing this. So, uh, unfortunately, we won't see any Earth sea creatures in this game. It's an alien ocean. Yes. Which is also kind of cool, because everything you see is new. Like, there's a kind of fucked up manatee. I yeah, guess. I that know. fucked up manatee is exactly what I thought. <laughs> like a manatee that has been possessed by a mushroom. Some sort that's of a, yeah, that's a, fungus. I think that's good. Um, yeah. So luckily, that, that kind of also shows that we're, we're in a, a, a biome that has probably friendlier creatures. We're, we're not in too much danger. This this whole game is kind of like... For an alien planet, its its biomes are actually all very close together. And, and maybe, maybe that's just because any open world game can't have things literally miles apart. But uh, I know there's some kelp forests. There's obviously some very deep oceans. Um, we kind of have the, uh, the coral reef here, sort of, I, I guess, the alien equivalent. Um, whoa. Whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. Good job. You Gross. really got to handle this one. And wonderful. God, I'm so, so glad it didn't eat me. I say this game probably does a pretty good job of um, making swimming feel good. Yeah. Like, that's not, I, I feel like somebody has said this, I, I think maybe even somebody on staff <laughs> said that uh, <laughs> swimming in games is usually sucks. Yeah, it's usually, I mean, it's hard getting into the feeling of moving in a lot of different dimensions, uh, but it actually feels very calming. Like, you have very easy control. You mm. look and you go where you look, and there's always stuff to see, which is very satisfying. Now, I uh, should also note, we're playing this in, I think it says creative, creative mode. Creative mode, yeah. So we don't have to worry about air. Yeah. Um, we don't have to worry about 
injuries? No, nothing will attack us. We can attack things, but <laughs> I haven't actually successfully killed this any creatures. God mode, more like. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's when you, Poseidon mode. When you play the, uh, I, I guess the normal game, the kind of like survival mode, it's kind of like Minecraft in the sense that there is danger. Obviously, alien, alien life forms will hurt you. Um, and there is also air to keep track of. You need that to live. Uh, and you also need materials to build any of the things you build. But since we're in this sort of uh, freeform creative mode, we don't have to worry about that. We can just build whatever we want. Yeah, which is nice. I'll, I'll say I did play one of the other modes. They have different levels of intensity, so you can play like hardcore survival and you have to keep track of eating and drinking clean water mm. and breathing. Uh, there's also one where you pretty much just have to worry about health and, and air. Mm -hmm. And I played that and it was, uh, it was less of a peaceful oh, delight than I was expecting. <laughs> it was kind of nerve-wracking. So yeah, I think this game definitely lets you choose between how you want your ocean adventure to go. I, I played it, I actually played this game at least two years ago. Maybe it was three years ago that I think about it. It's because it's been in early access that long. And even then, it was a pretty fun game. I, I definitely lost a, a couple good 30 hours to it i think uh <laughs> just because the, the the that kind of uh slow ramping up that I, I don't know if minecraft is literally the origin of this sort of like you're dropped in an open world you have to find the lowest level materials those build up to better equipment you get better materials which gets etc uh, etc cetera, etc cetera, et cetera. but eventually i built like a big submarine and a sea base actually multiple sea bases awesome i uh, had lots of rad equipment and you know this mode just gives you all that on silver platter but uh, there's something to be said about that kind of like drive to find the next thing, uh, craft the next thing, and then explore a new area that you couldn't uh, see f uh, at the beginning. Because I, I do remember this, to kind of keep, I guess, more difficult areas with rarer materials away from you at the beginning, depth levels, you can't progress deeper without a better suit. Okay. The, the, I guess the pressure would crush you. But if you get a better suit, then you can start going uh, deeper and deeper. I think even still, you have to be careful. Um, I think it's, you know, you can, um, you can take a submarine typically deeper than your suit will let you uh, survive in. Um, and you can accidentally, uh, things can go awry in this game <laughs> and your sub can crash and then you can be trapped in the zone which you're not prepared for. Yeah, things going awry, I think, is a good summation for this because it's there's a lot to see and do, but it, it can go go very badly very quickly because you're in the ocean, mm -hmm. uh, and if you are just a little bit too far down because you saw something really pretty at the bottom <laughs> and you were like, I want to touch that, uh, then you suddenly go. you're out of air, and yep. that is a, a real downer. <laughs> really, really, uh, really uh, ruins your day. Yeah. So that, that little sea base there, you built that, right? Yes. I built this using uh, all of the materials I've gathered, which is none because we're in creative so mode. Why don't, why don't we add something to that so people yeah. can kind of see how sea bases work in this? That's a good idea. So some of the things it seems like you can't build at certain levels. So like there's this observation deck. Um, you can't build that high up, but if you go down a little, like not even very far down, you can get access to it. I like just like the constructor gun. It's a uh, <laughs> boom done. And you gotta get a hatch. So this one, you just kind of built that free floating. It doesn't yeah. even need any uh, stands on it. No, it just sort of hangs out, and that's maybe a little bit uh, a breaking of the reality of the dimension. I guess if you had it like perfectly balanced. Oh, you can just grab that fish, right? Yes, you can just grab pretty much any of the small fishes. And then you can put that in your aquarium, right? Yes. Nice. In fact, let's go ahead and check on the aquarium because I found an egg when I was exploring earlier. Uh, and my, my sort of my concept for this stream is that we would make Jaws 5. Oh, right. Uh, okay. And the, uh, the reason I had that idea is because I like the Jaws movies. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. To well, varying degrees. I have to, I have to admit, actually, I've only seen the first one. That's probably for the best. <laughs> I have seen a lot of them, and, and so they're fine. <laughs> uh, now, you, you noted there's some connection this game has. There, there is a not at all coincidental connection. I'm convinced, uh, and you're all going to be convinced once I tell you, and that is that 
Uh, let me actually get up to the surface. So you might remember it's uh, uh, mentioned in Jaws 1 and 2 that Mike Hooper, the uh, shark expert played the by Richard Dreyfuss. The, the no, that's the... That's oh, the, shark the, expert. Yeah, You're right. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, yeah. the sort of weedly shark expert um, says that he was going to go on an expedition on a, a ship called the Aurora that was going to go to the see it, right? Antarctic. Ah. And what is the connection is that this ship is also called the Aurora. So that is the ship we we crash landed yes. on this planet. We're the yes. only survivor as far as we know. Yes, as far as we know. When I was searching around, I did find evidence that other people had survived the initial crash, but not very long. They weren't playing mm -hmm. in creative mode, which was their, their bad choice. And, and if you're wondering kind of how big this world is, you can go to that wreck and you can explore that wreck. Yeah. Um, that is definitely something that you don't do right off the bat because there's in addition to depth uh, issues and some big baddies, <laughs> uh, just a heads up. There's also radiation and that is another thing you need to build a radiation proof suit. Yeah, and that is no joke. All right. So clearly this is a tie-in Jaws game mm -hmm. uh, and Absolutely. that's the choice that they made. Yep. So uh, we're going to do great, Jaws great, 5. Great, great, uh, granddaughter of someone from the movie, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Julia Hooper. We want to take our CMOS. So this is one of the first, this is the first submarine you build in the game. And you actually, uh, I'd say when you do the kind of like uh, survival mode, you, you get this thing relatively fast. I think you have to scan a couple like fragments and then um, the construction materials aren't too complex. And that really is the first thing that opens up. You're kind of mostly staying to this, uh, this first area um, but get a hold of this submarine, and again, I, I, it just pilots well. Yeah, it's very satisfying to pilot. Uh, I would say all the swimming's a little bit slow uh, until you unlock. There's an item that you get that will sort of help you propel a little bit faster. You also, I think you can also get uh, better flippers, which also oh. makes your kind of default speed a Flipper little faster. Flipper upgrade. So those are some of the first large sea creatures we've seen. And then luckily, <laughs> they won't do anything to you. Yeah, I recklessly chose to attack one with a knife the first time I saw one. <laughs> Maybe uh, not the best uh, strategy. No, I mean, yeah, you know, I was scared and I was acting from a place of being <laughs> scared. Um, but yeah, I I mean, the design is great because up, up top you have this really island-like coral reef growing. It's kind of like a symbiotic relationship with these. Th I think they, I, I feel like they thought through some of the biology maybe more than just like this looks cool there's something yeah. to it yeah it's that's it's definitely the all the creatures are very well designed uh and really just fascinating to look at when oh. you come across yeah so that one i didn't attack it it jetted ink oh. in order to, to escape from Neat. me um hey buddy i'm gonna get so close to you hi where's oh. what's your anatomy like <laughs> what are you hopefully it's not a carnivore so, um, why don't we, can we, is there a map? No, I, I, uh, I can't even remember this. There isn't really. The really only, the only markers you have are... Your uh, bases, right? Your base lights up. Uh, and I think if you go and surface to the top, let me do that real quick, you can pretty much anywhere you go, or at least anywhere that I've gone so far, you can see the wreck. Yes. Which is a nice sort of, see, we've moved closer to it. And that's just a nice sort of... Oh, way no. of keeping track of where you're going. Uh oh, I wonder if you look up, up oh. at that, see what happens. Yeah, I don't know. Is there something gonna blow up? Seems like it's gonna. Oh, I'm hearing it now. Three, two, one. Uh, oh, yep. Uh, uh, wow, that's dramatic. Oh boy. So. Uh, out. <laughs> so I know one thing they have majorly upgraded since I played again like many years ago is the kind of story to the game. Um, oh yeah, so now it's telling you need a radiation suit to approach it. So yeah, which is um, fair. there's definitely a story to this, both the ship and the crash landing, but there's something more to the uh, alien planet. Um, and I don't want to like reveal anything, especially since I don't know much more than the trailers, but um, exploring it so exploring the planet isn't just about finding life forms. Um, there's more you can find. 
And there's, hint, hint. <laughs> there have been a couple, uh, from what I've seen so far, a couple different biomes with some slightly different creatures. Yeah, you want to go try to find one? Yeah. We hop in to our, our little sea moth. Stay kind of, yeah, down near the seabed will probably help us find them. Yeah. All right, so yeah, let's see what those, ooh. Oh, this is, okay, I was here earlier testing out different sea bases. Okay. <laughs> you can see I made a really good one with lots of entrances and just not a lot of stuff inside. So I know sea bases, if you're doing the uh, survival mode, those um, obviously give you air, but it looks like- It looks like-, like This one's leaking. Yeah. I don't know if it's too- I put a lot of glass in because I was going for a look, <laughs> uh, but that seems to, it looks oh, like it might have ruptured I wonder, everywhere. I wonder if the explosion had something to do with that. Oh, yeah, that's possible. It's a little closer. All right, well, let's see what those, uh, towers over there. I think this is kind of getting us towards a new biome. Oh. Yeah, we just head down this way. I like that, again, from the top, these look like they've got camouflage, but then from the bottom, they look like maybe they've got some colors that are going to attract some pretty little Those are pretty. angel angelfish. What do you call them? Looks like we haven't seen any kind of Jaws equivalents yet, but not, I know they're out there. Yeah, not, not yet. I, I, I feel like in the movies, usually Jaws finds them, except for Jaws 4, in which uh, the lead has prophetic dreams about Jaws. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Did you, did that you see flash? Something? Yeah, there's a yeah. flash. Let's see what that is. So I will say that this is a game um, which perhaps more... Oh, no. Okay, that's kind of exactly what I'm saying is that <sighs> more so than an actual giant monster in the ocean, the just, just the <gasps> deep water <laughs> and just not knowing what's out there is pretty freaky and this game has that in spades yeah i was expecting more of a uh, sort of a peaceful ocean romp <laughs> that was sort of soothing mm -mm. and lulling and would comfort me after a long day of work <laughs> if you stay in the coral reef maybe yeah maybe oh my god but there are yeah there are some monsters oh. and the just the experience of floating around and you you hear things Yes. Occasionally, the the <clears> first <throat> time I got into creative mode, basically as soon as I hit the water, I heard this horrible laughing noise, like uh, some sort of sea hyena. Oh. And I do not know what made that Hi. noise. Oh, jeez. But think that one likes you. No, I don't think he does either, which is a shame because I love him. Hi. Come back. Ah. I might have hit him. <laughs> that might have been its blood. I wonder if I hit this, is it going to damage my sea moth? Come back. Let me experiment on you. Oh, I think they're fighting. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's really easy to be... Uh... I have to imagine that if we weren't immortal gods that in this mode, <laughs> that that would be doing something to our ship because yeah. that electricity looks pretty, uh, pretty dangerous. Pretty deadly, yeah. If we were not Julia Hopper, uh, descendant of Mike Hopper from Jaws, and also Poseidon a little bit. She's a demigod. Um, the, these things, I'm certain, would be aggro and be really damaging. I think it us. is. I, I think, think it is, yeah. It's just frustrated it can't do anything to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's really easy to, to turn a corner in this game and to see something that's really beautiful and mesmerizing, mm -hmm. uh, or something that's absolutely horrifying that you are certain is going to consume your flesh. <laughs> so it's kind of a mix. Less peaceful than I would expect, but big ocean still wall. very engaging. Yeah, I wonder if this is a some sort of trench cliff. If we go up, is there going to be another biome? There's something floating up there, I think. Huh. Oh, oh, is that the base I made? Oh, it's but night. It's, That's what's happening. But is is it's not it's not oh, showing no. up on your. Uh... <sighs> Oh, it's another oh, it's one, and it's upside down. Oh no! Somebody, oh, oh. Oh dear. That's not great. Has Jaws been here? Oh my God! Look. Yes, that's absolutely evidence. Look at that bite mark. That's not good. That's not great. Let's see. We should see. probably get out of our safe sub and look around. <laughs> well, we have to. We have to loot. It's a video game. We have to loot. That's right. So I'm not sure. This might be. 
I'm assuming irradiation also doesn't hurt us, but I think this would probably be a thing where you, you probably wouldn't get this close to the ship yet until you've built Ooh, radiation. Probably not. But. Yeah, we really got up on that <clears throat> before I realized it. Um, let's see real quick, actually. Whoa. That's cool. That's a good moon. It's very, it seems like it's very close. It does. <laughs> and you can see the other smaller moon hiding behind Double it. Moon. As though it were afraid of something in the ocean. Okay. Um, so there are day-night cycles. Let's. Oh yeah. Let's. Um. Okay. I think we can position ourselves. We have. Uh, we have the base to our left, and I think the sub behind us. Yes. So why don't we go kind of between the two? Kind okay. of head to the right of that. Let's see what way? just happens if we go to on the other side of this rock. <laughs> just ram into this coral a little bit. I think if we just keep kind of going forward, we'll eventually run into a new biome. I think you're right. Just like, oh, yeah, like the way stuff just appears in that deep, dark <laughs> water. Oh, geez. It's beautiful and also just so nervous making. You And you were mentioning the sounds. I know, you know, no surprise, there's some big, big creatures in this. And you definitely hear them kind of like whale. I mean, they, they definitely take a book out of uh, Earth aquatic life and kind of the, I'll bet the hyenas, sound was probably something about thinking about dolphins and the clicking oh, yeah. and squeaking and, and um, you definitely hear something that approaches whales but uh, I, I think in a more menacing way <laughs> <laughs> although I'll be honest uh, the idea of being in the water next to a very large whale also frightens me to death yeah yes I love sea creatures I don't go to the ocean very much uh, and i Given the chance to swim with most of these creatures, I probably would opt for Nah. I think you might have to get out. Going there. Oh yeah. Okay. This is so. This is exactly the sort of thing that um, you'd be. Oh. So the, okay, I guess that's what it is. Maybe it's changed since then. But your oxygen efficiency decreases as you go lower than you actually are prepared for. Oh, you got a flesh thing. That's yeah. Good. Um, but the, these sort of like underwater caves are, are exactly what you would do. You would explore to find newer, rarer materials oh. to build newer, rarer things. Like uranianite. Uranite. Yeah, that's, that's made up. <laughs> Pretty sure. And oh, a mesmer egg. A mesmer egg. I even I don't know what a mesmer is. <laughs> We're gonna have to. Uh, sandstone. We're gonna have to hatch this mesmer. I put another egg that I had found, but it was an unlabeled egg. So, I don't know what it's going to come up with. One of these is going to come up with Jaws 5's baby. Oh, no. And then that's going to be incentive. Oh, is that an octopus? What is that? Oh, no, it's that oh. guy. He's. Uh... See, we also have all these tiny, tiny little bioluminescent fishies that I don't think. I oh, I can grab you. Yeah, come you back here, hoopfish. Put hoop it fish. in our uh, aquarium. You're my hoopfish now. I love the uh, schools. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> it's just <laughs> alarming. You're thinking about the schools. Well, I, 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 I'm trying to, oh, it doesn't like our sub still. <laughs> that thing is a lot bigger now being out of the water than I realized. <laughs> I'm just gonna hop back in here. Um, I think the, uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm trying to think about versus changes since I played. And I think they might've added the schools of fish just to make the whole whole thing seem more live, but I don't wanna, oh um, I don't want to in incorrectly assume that. I guess well, it doesn't matter now because if you buy this game, it's got them. <laughs> I th and I think like that explosion we saw, like I, I didn't remember that in the game, and, and, and certainly it was a very pretty explosion. Um, how frightening it was. So they've definitely um, they've definitely been the good kind of early access game where they 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 have been <gasps> updating it the whole time. And again, I don't remember volcanic uh, pits. Ooh. You can... That's a great question. I don't see what's gonna stop me as a demigod. Uh, the bottom of it, I guess, is I guess gonna the stop me. <laughs> yeah, that's Solid fair. ground. <laughs> yes. Right. There are things. There are things in it. There's um, gems. Oh, actually, some people in, in chat have already brought this up. There is a VR mode. Oh. Which, if you really want to immerse yourself in the frightening deep blue ocean, oh. you can do that. I won't. <laughs> I, yeah, I've <laughs> got mixed feelings about that. I feel like it would make me so scared. And, but maybe that's what I want. Maybe that's what I want from this game. Oh, and that is another. Another pod? Another, another pod, another yeah. So this, pod. this is, yeah, th this is definitely something to the game's um, 
fleshing out the story of what happened and finding traces of others who maybe got out of the ship but didn't make it quite as far as you. That's tragic. I'm really, yeah, I'm really curious to see if there are, like, other living people that we can meet. Because um, I think that would be, you know, that'd be nice. Make some friends in the sea. That's what The Little Mermaid was about. I'm pretty I certain. <laughs> I've, I've watched all four Jaws movies, but I don't really remember The Little Mermaid, <laughs> right. so. Um, actually, I had a question. Uh, with Jaws, I've always kind of thought of, you know, people make the joke, oh, Die Hard, it's a Christmas movie, you know, whatever. Right. Right. But Jaws takes place on the 4th of July, and I actually have thought of it as a 4th of July movie. Oh. So whether or not that's watching it the day of, or the kind of like holiday weekend that maybe precedes or uh, comes after the 4th of July, I I uh, I felt that there was a good opportunity to watch Jaws again because you can never watch Jaws enough. Um, did you have it, did you have that connection? Am I, am I making this up? You know, not necessarily, but I feel like Fourth uh, of July has a lot less evocative uh, sort of styles than Christmas. Yeah. Uh, I do think of Jaws as a very good summer movie. Absolutely. Yeah, and you really want to watch it like right in the the middle of summer, right before. You're gonna go out into the ocean to to give yourself. Oh yeah, so you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to remind yourself the the beautiful majestic horrors of the ocean. I'm now. I'm trying to remember now. Is 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 it is it Memorial Day or is it? I think it Fourth is Fourth of July. July. Okay. I think it is because the mayor is so upset. Yeah. Um, that they want to shut down the beaches. Yeah. Um, and that would that's a holiday weekend. You know. Right. That's all the tourism money. I, their revenue for the year. I'm also now remembering that I, I think one of the first times, because it's not like a long, long going thing that I, I thought of as Fourth of July since college, but uh, that first time we watched it uh, with some friends, we ordered pizza and we decided, or, or rather, I guess my friend decided anchovy pizza. <laughs> this was I remember this specifically because it was the first time. I'd known anyone who actually wanted to order an anchovy pizza, and I was like, oh, I guess I'll try anything once. And I, and you know what? Not, not half bad. Yeah. If you're okay with like an extreme amount of saltiness, and it was just like one sardine per slice. Oh. Uh, I, I, I don't know if that's like the typical way you do it, but um, yeah, if you want that real super umami salty taste right in the middle of your pizza. It's 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 all right. It's probably not something I'm gonna do again. But was it very very fishy? Did it have a fishy taste? It, it definitely had it definitely had the fishy taste, but I don't. I, frankly, the saltiness was just the overpowering flavor I got from it. Huh. I'm I'm looking at this fish's organs right now, and that's a that's an experience I've never had before. You can see its lungs. That's pretty. It's like the. Uh, it's like the alien and and what's that xenon and the girl of the 21st century. Oh, I'm not familiar with it. I mean, there are definitely Disney fish. Original. It actually takes place in space, but a giant, shimmering, alien manta ray comes in the end. And uh, sorry, I, I've spoiled this <laughs> treasured film for anyone who's not seen it. But uh, are the, aren't there also kind of glowing, glowing manta ray fish? Aliens and the the abyss. Yeah, I think so. Sort of tentacled, glowing things. This kind of motif there. Is this gas? What am I? What is oh, this? Possibly. I think, I think th this is actually cool. There there are underwater oceans and underwater lakes, where I think the water becomes super saline, Whoa. and it so it it has its own. Uh, I'm trying to think of the, wa the, the the term for this, but when like different liquids can sit on top of each other and not mix. That's amazing. It's a dense, I think it's just density. But uh, yeah, I know I, I, anyone out there who wants to check this, you can Google it. There are definitely underwater lakes. I don't know underwater That's crazy. waterfalls. That might be a bit of embellishing, but uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. That's spectacular. I wonder if those underwater lakes have their own lake monsters, a la Loch Ness, <laughs> and that if those creatures freak Aliens out... Aliens don't believe it, the, the fish don't believe it. There's <laughs> nothing in that lake. It's just a lake. Well, why don't you go in there? Yeah, that's what I'm... That's spectacular. This is beautiful. Uh, I think it's... um. 
I, I missed the chat here for a bit, but uh, they want us to smooch the creatures. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Let's, oh boy. Let's go ahead and smooch this Let's thing. meet our new friend. Oh my uh, god. Oh my god. Oh he's boy. Got a big mouth. Good, perfect for smooching. Yeah. Oh. oh fine. Hey, okay, let me get right up in there. Let I, me get I get right the up sense in there. that they really wanted us to smooch the manta ray glowy friends, but. Uh, well, they don't get to. They cho Oh my oh god. My. <laughs> I'm just imagining doing this in VR right now, and it's Viscosity. about the worst. Sorry. Thing. Viscosity. <laughs> That was that Come was back. what I was trying to think. The I love you. Let me let Whoa, me love you. Oh, we just ate another fish. Nuts. Oh, this game has the circle Mwah. of life. Okay, I think that counts. Let's <laughs> <laughs> find one of those manta ray friends. Okay, I, I did want to actually say that I I'm pretty sure this is maybe a biome that I never discovered. I don't remember those waterfalls certainly, and this is this is really cool. Hey there, friend. Just seeing all the glowing walls, the uh, bioluminescence. I don't think this thing has lips, because I think oh. if it did, we would be able to see them anywhere swimming with it. relative to it that we were. If you if you put that away, mm. can you do the, like, grab on to it? Uh, I, there we go. Can and I? Swim with it? I don't think I can. I can't grab everything. Okay. We're swimming with it. And much, much like a toddler, that is my first instinct whenever I see any of these beautiful monsters. But I'm just gonna get in here. Hey, come here. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Oh, nice friend. Beautiful. Thank you, friend. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm trying to find a new biome. Yes. We're actually. I, I hadn't even been paying attention to this. We're quite deep. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. So I think. Um, I think I saw the base kind of up to our left. Oh, oh my god. Hi there. We want another kiss before we go. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, friend. Okay, so that's There's the base. There. If we go right, kind of go, oh, we're like in a cave, sort of. Yeah, that's the maybe one thing that's alarming sometimes is it can be difficult to know which way is up. So I assume that's uppish. Or, or, or yeah, I, I just go straight up and see what happens. <laughs> Did not Especially, realize we're also inside of a giant cave. Yeah. I've just been keeping an eye on the meter and trying to figure out if I am indeed going up. Because, like, right now, I know I'm going up because the meter tells me so. Boy. It's very hard. Uh, it's, it, it is disorienting sometimes. Is that, is that one of those fish? Okay, yeah, I definitely don't remember any giant undersea caves like this. That's cool. Yeah. I might have to download this game again. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't know how we got here. We Ooh. just, we followed our hearts and they led us this way. And that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so that's down. Yeah, so we just have to find an opening. I did a similar thing. I found a cave. It wasn't in this biome. It was just a cave. And I went into it. And then I kept going into it. And then that was it. Because I could not find my way out. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Yeah, because it wasn't it wasn't just a matter of going up until you weren't you weren't in there anymore because I'd taken so many turns and passages. And oh look a school. I think oh, this looks good. We'll just keep going this way. Yeah, I we think are going will, up. Which is good. This'll get us somewhere. But like I'm I can't imagine doing this until you have a very, very good ship. E even the sea moth, I feel like. Oh oh yeah, I didn't mention the the sea moth you can see in the right has health little wrench the electricity that's another thing you actually have to manufacture you have to make big batteries for this thing okay. and you you can bring a couple with you in your inventory but you have to keep keep that in mind that wherever you go if you aren't well stocked you can uh, you can get into a pickle right quick uh i think i might have just heard something yeah, there's no oh, oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't Oh my goodness. I wasn't as, as big as they can get though. No, but it's still so alarming. <laughs> because it's like it, it's like the thing in horror games where you hear something and you don't know where it's at because there's fog or it was in a different room. But in here it can be from in literally any hey in literally in any direction. Ooh, that looks big. From any anywhere. That's very big. Don't go near that. 
Oh my oh god, boy. look at those claws. Like it's just gonna latch on to you. Oh no, god. Oh god. <laughs> it's on me. Oh no, oh. no, no. This is Jaws. This is Jaws 5. This is Jaws. This is Jaws. Oh my god. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god! You, I don't, why can I do Can you get out of that? Why can't I? Yeah. Oh, oh no, god. I made a mistake. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just gonna keep swimming. Oh my god. Oh my I'll my just god. be distracted with the oh spaceship. My oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay, so uh, don't look down, please. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. We're just gonna. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's just the first time we meet the monster. Oh. Yeah, and we escaped. That was the perfect arc, because we saw evidence of that creature uh, in the form of having destroyed some life pods. You know, <laughs> the chat is pointing out, maybe he was just giving us a kiss. Oh, a very strong, powerful kiss that I could not escape from. Listen, consent is important <laughs> when you're smooching sea creatures. <laughs> You have Appreciate to know sentiment, but <laughs> when to say when. Clear, that was the scariest verbal. smooch I've ever experienced. <sighs> <sighs> okay. So where are we? We're in relation. Yeah. So whoa, okay. we went pretty far away. We were definitely like on the other end of that spaceship. Yeah, and it's day now. Oh, so it's daytime. Yeah, I'm gonna launch so we have this. Oh, and we can just build a space. Okay, I think it's yeah. time. Let's build a big submarine. Yeah, that we, you know what? You know what we need? We need a bigger boat. We need a bigger boat. We need oh, a bigger I boat. I totally missed the chance. <laughs> Whiffed it. Okay, so that was the sea moth. It's this little itty bitty one. And you can <laughs> see all the things it takes to build it. Yeah. Um, we also have. Uh, oh, a con suit, suit. Um, we or want a the cyclops. cyclops. The cyclops is a big beauty. Okay. So I, I remember this was kind of the my the pinnacle of my achievement when I played my game a couple years ago. I think they added this in an update while I was playing, and I'm like, oh. I have to build that. It's beautiful. And it was very satisfying. It's basically its own mobile base. It has a inside you can walk around in. It can also store Ooh. the smaller submarine, if I'm not mistaken. That's handy. Right. So this mobile bay is something you start off of in, in creative mode. And you can actually, if you angle it right, pick it back up, yep. which is what I did earlier. So in case something like this happened, I wasn't out of luck. Where did, where did, okay, there it is. It sunk. I have to find part of the puzzle of the ship is finding how to get in. I oh, assume there's a um, hatch. Oh, the bottom. Uh, there's oh, underneath. Yeah. Okay. There it was. There, did I miss oh, it? No, you were looking at it. Oh. You kind of got to go down there where those kind of fins are. Oh, okay. Underneath it. There we go. Board Cyclops. Okay. This is a great, Cyclops is a great tie-in to my Poseidon mythology. Yeah. These are really hidden the Greeks. Yeah, so this whole thing, and what's great about it is that, um, or at least I kind of enjoyed this sort of uh, element of the, oh yeah, the launch bay, I think that's, I think maybe that's for your uh, suit. Okay. Or maybe, no, I think you can put your, you know, you can, yeah, you can dock your ship, so we can go rescue our small ship. Oh, yeah. From the giant smooch boy. <laughs> <clears throat> uh -huh. The, um, but yeah, the thing about this is that it's not, even in, in, in our, we're immortal, so none of our, <laughs> none of our uh, submarines are actually in any danger. But this thing, even in the, in the regular game, it can be damaged by those uh, big fish. And what's kind of fun about it is that it doesn't, you know, just get damaged immediately. It actually starts getting leaks, like leaks you can actually step out of the pilot chair and run around and fix and it's pretty fun when like fun in that stressful sort of way where like <laughs> alarms are blaring you're taking on water and you got to run around and find the leaks and shut them and, and get them all before um Engine before you power. sink to the bottom of the ocean that is exciting and terrifying especially if the thing that caused your ship to be damaged is nearby still so this one i think might actually pilot a bit differently yeah. um I think you're you're moving forward, but I think this one actually, or maybe actually the other submarine has this, but it has a kind of up and down, like mm. you can actually just dive straight down if you want. Um, you know, I can actually look that up. What? I, I'm curious about the purpose of sounding the horn. And maybe it's just because everybody likes horns. I think that's, yeah. 
Let's go ahead and standard and head fast. Neat. I don't know. They upgraded yeah. the, the, con the controls to this. There's some more fancy stuff. Oh, oh I've got a camera. <gasps> Pokemon Snap. Or, let's see, to toggle camera light. Oh, okay. So space, um, space lets you go up, and then I think C is the uh, dive, the default dive. Okay. So if you just yes, space is going up. Whoa! See that beautiful sound. Dive, 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 dive. I think I'm going All right. down. So this is now the part where we go fuck up Jaws. Yes, we're coming for we've you. We've got a big boat. All right, I've got a. The only problem is I can't look any farther Said left that or right. Famous line in Jaws. <laughs> what if we got a bigger boat? <laughs> okay, there's that thing. So I think we're going this way. What did you say was down? C. It should be. C. There we go. Okay. Where's the descent meter? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So it, does that mean I can only go down 500 meters? Because that doesn't seem like a lot. So yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> I feel like maybe you can actually no. I think it maybe that is the limit, and then if you want to go deeper, you have to take that um, your robot suit. Oh, okay. Uh, I know you you accidentally fell in a crevice and went down three thousand <laughs> meters. Yeah. I think I think if I remember this correctly, and I could totally be speaking out of turn here, but I think a thousand meters is maybe the actual kind of limit of any biomes you want to explore. Yes. Oh, careful. Well, okay, that's a, uh, we actually don't have to be careful, but that is, <laughs> that is the damage kind of monitoring system, because you've got a big, long submarine here, and if you dive, you can, uh, your tail can Yeah, I think that's exactly things. what happened. Yeah, so the, the crevice I went into, it gave me warnings about how there's nothing to see beyond here, uh, and that you should turn back, because it's a dead biome. Is, is the, does that radar show us anything? Oh. Ooh. Is that, is, that feet, is that something I'm going to hit? Or is that your ship? Oh, 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 oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh no! God. No! No! Hey, out of the way! Out of the way! Oh no! Holy crap! No! Clayton, no! Oh my god! Okay. Okay. Oh. You think they're gone now? I think it's that red thing, so I think no. Oh boy, <laughs> Thanks my for heart pointing is out that one kilometer is a thousand meters. <laughs> Thanks. Oh man, this is tricky. Is there a light that I'm not seeing? Or maybe I'm supposed to be using the cameras to see things. <gasps> oh Jesus. This one just wants a smooch too, I guess. No, <laughs> well he got it. You got it, bucko. Jaws 5 is taking on a very different uh... <laughs> There are a lot, after Jaws came out, there was a whole bunch of other movies that came out about- Sharks. Uh, sharks and other deep sea creatures. So there was like Piranha, and there is, like I think, Deep whale? Impact. Uh, there is a, I think there was a killer whale one. Orca or something. Orca, right? yes. Um, so I'm, and given the movies of that era, I'm certain more than a few of them have, have some choices. Hmm. about <laughs> what they show on screen I think as far as smooches goes. Here, let's try to find one more di biome before we wrap up. Yeah, um, there doesn't if you, seem to be much here. If you, I think if you steer your ship back towards our base. Oh. There's our sea moth. There's but, a uh, sea moth, okay. So yeah, okay. So then stop, I think stop here. We don't, I don't think we're gonna go directly towards it, but if okay. we kind of go a little off, yeah, like that. I think, if I, I'm trying to remember the map which completely changed by this point, but... Um, if we go back towards the sea moth, we might be able to find that monster. I don't, I'd honestly prefer not to. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, and I respect that. Okay, so I'm gonna go... But there's, um... Oh, now, now okay, okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm getting corrected again on the fact that when you're underwater, the whole thing is fathoms and... Oh, that's right. I don't know. Excessive noise? What does that mean? What's here? I think... So I went at super speed, so maybe that's doing it? I think that has something to do with depth, because I think cavitating is <clears throat> compressing, but... 
Yeah. That could be, yeah. I'll, I'll angle up a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Engine, Engine overheat. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Luckily, our immortal super sub can <laughs> do all this. Has an extension of our own mortality, yeah. Okay, this is a better... Okay. okay. That's on fire. Who cares? Yeah, that's true. We're not... <laughs> I'm just not... It's fine. I'm just not going to look back. Um, maybe go up? We're still kind of just going into deep sea and not seeing anything. Yeah. Let me, let me hop on. Kind of freaking me out. Maybe let's let's head back towards the base directly a bit more now. Oh. I think I may have not remembered this map as well as I hoped. I'm curious what happens. If we explode, do you think we'll be able to see it from the outside? I, I don't think so. There's just lots of science facts in the chat right now, and I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm glad. I regret that those will be lost when the chat ends. Cavitation is the formation of vapor cavities in liquid, in small liquid-free zones that are consequences of forces acting upon a liquid. I think I've actually, uh... <laughs> uh I, oh, there, he's been following us, hasn't he? Uh, he wasn't for a while. This might be another one. All right. Oh, well, he my God. He just wants a kiss, too. Oh, oh this is That's upsetting. It's really pretty looking. It's beautiful. It's up. You're right. It is it? It is upsetting that that thing is bigger than our big sub. But. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is beautiful though. So yeah, I'd head. I'd head directly back at our base. Okay. Um, is it just? I know there's a whole. There's another biome that I, I, if I remember correctly, looks very different from what we've seen so far, and I think that would be a nice oh, okay. change of pace. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, we're seeing some schools. I'm gonna dive. Yeah. yeah, we're pretty close actually to the surface. Right. Dive a little, yeah. Warning, vessel counterfeit. Excessive noise. Warning, engine may hit critical. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense. Sir. The chat is now pointing out that we're moving too fast for the depth, which is what is causing the cavitation. Oh, that's a good science fact. It's because of oh actually maybe um okay yeah this is a this is a new biome that is actually Ooh. oh boy I think we should get out yeah because I think, I, think right. I think that alarm sound is perhaps a little annoying <laughs> to our viewers <laughs> and yeah and us uh, oh no you got to do the other uh, oh, hey a there's a lot of smoke huh yeah oh, oh that's okay. Uh, we're underwater. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> yeah, if we get on fire, we'll just we'll just step out. So if we weren't playing the immortal game mode, we would want to put those fires out, but we were gonna ignore that and disembark our. So. Yeah, and I'm just gonna Ooh. leave this as a trap for that monster. Okay. It'll come after it and eat it, and it'll explode at the last critical moment. This is beautiful. I like this rope. I think our cyclops. It might have just exploded. Oh no. Okay. We'll just sit there. Let's whatever. <laughs> Look at these giant flea things. Can Holding I poke the rocks you? Down. It's like an underwater Pandora. That was too close. <laughs> <laughs> that was not great. This is beautiful. All right. So I haven't seen any sea life around here, though, besides the uh, little schools. Yeah, I don't see any big old fishies. Let me go ahead and this will help us. There we go. Go a little, go fast. A little bit faster. Ooh, what's that? Some glowy things. Hey, more glowy seed. Ghost nope. weed. <laughs> yeah, the best way to figure out what these things are called are just run right into run them. Right into them. <laughs> these things don't have a name. I'm gonna name Still them after us. Plants. These plants are now Julia Hooper. <laughs> so it's just oh, those are cool. Like you can see, like their skeletal <laughs> systems. So this is, I think, back to now the like nice, peaceful ocean journey you were hoping for. Yes, just in time for my heart to stop pounding after seeing that horrible <laughs> ghost monster. Yes. <laughs> yeah, look at these beautiful like cathedral-esque. Under underwater uh, stalactites. Yeah. Interesting. There's probably another scientific name for, but uh. I don't. I, 
Yeah, for ocean stalactite. I don't think stalactites can really form in the ocean because they're formed from. Right. I know stuff about geology. Yeah, you're they right. They form from water dripping through well, limestone. There is um. We kind of found a similar. I think this is a similar biome, but it's in a whole nother place. Yeah. Similar fishies. Glowing stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Let's probably go back. I really like these weird threads. With their weird veiny fleas. <laughs> Very alien looking. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I think this the game does a great job of capitalizing on how alien a lot of ocean life already is. Right. They, they could probably sneak in like a couple actual things from our oceans and you wouldn't know. No. And that's spectacular. Uh-huh. I appreciate that yeah, even even though they had the choice where they could just deep shroom, sorry no space. Even though they could have populated this with a lot of a lot more familiar creatures, they've it seems like put in a lot of legwork to make some just beautiful occasionally horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, and there's another one of those. Whoa. And abandoned PDA. Hmm. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, and you've got a flotation what? devices failed. Yeah. Yeah, this is our inventory system. It's a little C pad. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. It's pretty easy to use. So some some people made it off. That's good. Cool. And choose to send a dress call. Some Build whatever. So this person is doing basically exactly what we did. Okay. Good send a distress hmm. call. Build some gear and find a way out. Going to run out. We should have started the creative mode. They would have uh, done a lot better. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this doesn't look great. It looks pretty ominous. <laughs> but maybe maybe that was a choice they made to sink their ship mm -hmm. uh, before leaving and totally surviving. All right. Well, uh, I've had a good time enjoy, uh, exploring the ocean depths with you. Yeah, me too, Clayton. And Subnautica. Yeah. A game which you could have already bought, but now you can buy, and it will be the full, complete game. I, you know, I would guess that the developers will continue adding things to this if they haven't explicitly said this already. But uh, it's a, it was a great game a couple years ago. It's probably still a great. It's probably an even better game now. <laughs> um, you can check it out on Steam. I also think it's on. I can actually check this because I have the internet in front of me. But I, I'm pretty sure it's on PS4. Um, oh, it's also on Xbox One, and you can even download it on your Mac. In Tosh. <laughs> Computer. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Clayton. I'm Jenna. Bye. Bye.